Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Call me like a cherry pony. Call me like a cherry pony. Your boy done switched up on you. Call me like a cherry pony. your very first time in this channel run over there and subscribe for me and after you subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video and then welcome to this great family now our channel name is lips and it's spelled l-l-i-p-s and that stands for living life in positive serenity that's right we know you want to do that right because if you didn't hit that button and you didn't hit that bell you have lied to me and i know you lied Period. <laughs> you gotta check this out. We'll go ahead and pray. We'll get into the goodness. Here we go. Amen. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How you doing? You guys, today for the food, we have uh, some turkey wings. They have real mushrooms. They've been smothered in cream of mushroom soup. They have some little vegetables around them. We got a jalapenos, we got some carrots, some cauliflower, and some broccoli. Oh, bitch, to the side, y'all, guess who came to see y'all today? Lil' Ben is in the building, y'all. There you go, there you go, there you go. Lil' Ben is in the building, y'all. Y'all can see me nice refreshing. Mmm. 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 He doing pretty good, y'all. Over to the side, I got my lips hot sauce. And if you want your bottom, make sure you look way at the top of the description box in blue. Hit that link, and right there, you can order your lips hot sauce and your lips birds. You can get them both right there. Okay, you guys, we've already prayed. So it's now it's time to get to eating. It's time. Let me sit it down, y'all. I got it popped up for you a little bit. Let me sit it down so we can eat it. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Y'all, the, the turkey wings, honey, have been treated with nothing but love and care. Do you hear me? For real. I cannot cook big old turkey wings like this and cook them too fast. You like to slow, slow, slow go with these. You hear me? Mmm. 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 Y'all want a piece? Mm -hmm. Let's get some lips hot sauce on it though. Run me dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You talking about tender, y'all. You talking about tender. Mm -hmm. Y'all got some of that creamy mushroom soup. It's down here. Like on my rice. Mm-hmm. Mm. That is delicious. Mm-hmm. Y'all, we got something to talk about today. Mm. Also, you guys, right now, as I'm seeing this video, we still don't know, or oh, it hasn't been officially Mm. given to a winner of the presidential election. Now, mm. 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 unless it takes extra time or without the lawsuits and stuff, by the time you see this video, hopefully we already have a president. Mmm. Mmm. Because you won't get this video for a few days. Mmm. Oh, no, that's good. That's good. 
So anywho, how you doing? How you doing today? Mm. Me and my family are doing well. We're getting prepared to go out of town. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good. That is good. Um. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. So, we're preparing to get ready to go out of town. I don't know if you've ever traveled with a little one before, but traveling with little ones mm, presents its own complications in its own. You know, with a child, to be, to be honest with you, mm, mm, most things, Mm -hmm. Like traveling with a small child, like a baby baby, is more complicated than, you know, traveling with a six, seven, eight year old, stuff like that. I completely disagree. Completely. You know, especially when you go on road trips, like in a vehicle. Children in that age bracket, six, seven, eight, nine, and got their own set of rules and agendas <clears throat> that they like to be comfortable in. Mm. And then you get the already there yet. Mm -mm -mm. For real, you know what you get. Mm. Mm. And uh, I want a drink. I want some chips. I'm sleepy. All of these. You get all of that. You do it. Mmm. That is good. You know, whining, needy, all that kind of stuff. But that's what goes on. Mmm. We're whining that age bracket. Let me see if I can get y'all a piece. Y'all, it's hot now. Ooh. There you go. You see it, baby. Ooh. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 hot. Man, anyway, mm. I tell y'all we got something to talk about. So, you guys, I got a really, really long email. From one of the legion. Mm -hmm. And they asked me some questions. And I'm not going to go over the questions. I'm not going to tell you the whole situation of what they are going through. I'm only going to give you a message. And we're going to talk about it. You guys. We have talked about this many times before. We have. But if there's a need, newcomers, or just someone in their particular struggle that they're going through at the moment, need me to reiterate things or talk about certain things, I will. So let me just tell you this. You guys, God made, handcrafted each and every one of us. Each and every one of us, he did. He intended and picked you to be the grandchild of City Six and City Six. The child of City Six and Six. Placed you. in this type of homes, 
or that type of home, this type of environment, that type of environment, in this city, in this state, in this country, for reasons of his own. He's all-knowing and all-powerful. So we can't question that, okay? But what I will tell you is that God gave each and every one of us a very unique personality, gifts, traits, looks, ideas for specific reasons. You were born into this world for a reason. Mm-hmm. There is work for you to do here. Now, you notice I said he made each and every one of us individuals with our own individual. Put a little bit of this in there, put a little bit of that in there to make up the character, the person that whom you are. Okay? It is very important that you love, cherish, and adore whom you are. Okay? Because whatever it is that was so special for God to make you in his image, how he did with those specific and unique talents, gifts, looks, environments, raising, rearing, whatever you want to say, only you could take or only you could carry out the task that he has for that particular situation. And you needed all of those different elements to you to make you whom you are in order to be able to fulfill what he has you here for. Some people are here to do kingdom work. Some people are here just to stop a thief from killing somebody on the side of the road 10 years from now. That's just what that is. People... I've never been the person that has wanted to fit in or be a part of what is quote unquote the in crowd. Never was anything, even in my childhood, that was a part of my makeup. You know what I mean? I don't follow the crowd. I teach my daughter all the time. You don't follow the crowd, let the crowd follow you. You make precedence in your own life how things, what's cool and what's not cool. You know, think with your own brain. You know, I think it is the most terrible thing in life to go through life and not realize your full potential of whom it is that you are because you're trying to follow and fit in with others. Or you're embarrassed or ashamed of who God made you. You guys, it is so important for you to love you. You've got to love you. You have to. You have to. And sometimes, because in this particular situation, this person is wanting to retaliate and fight back. And my advice to you is let God handle that thing. I'm going to tell you something. The Bible cannot lie. And the Bible says if you're faithful, you trust and believe, you pray, and you... <clears throat> oh, wait a minute! You lay down things before him for him to handle and let it go. You can't do it like he does it. You can't do it how he's going to do it. You can't. You just have to cast that thing out there and them worries and those troubles out there onto him. And you got to let that go. You got to let it go. Excuse me, y'all. And let God work that thing out. You got to. You can't do them and give them what they deserve or their just punishment, whichever way. Mm. 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 You can't get that to them. You can't. You got to let God do that. 
You know, let God do that. You know, what you do is you analyze yourself. You analyze your part in the situation. You make sure that you line up where it's supposed to be and you leave that thing alone. You leave that thing alone. You let the other antagonists in the situation, you let them stand out there and act a fool all they want to. Let them stand out there and act a fool. Well, however they do it, just keep yourself right. Keep yourself, your mind, and go focus on God and where you're trying to go and what you're trying to do and what you're trying to get into. I promise you, most people in life fail to live out their potential simply because they're paying attention to their neighbor. How are you going to lead yourself in the right path if all you pay attention to is somebody, somebody else? Sit down somewhere. Pay attention to your own business. Work on yourself. You know what I mean? And that's where that self-love comes in at. That's where you have to rely and know that you're special. You're special just like you are. Just like you are. I don't care if you were born with one eye. That's how God wants you to be. But, yeah, but you got to love that one eye. You got to love yourself. I don't care if you weigh 630 pounds or if you weigh 89. You know what I mean? Black, white, Asian, I don't care. You have to love and embrace whom God made you because in his eyes, he made you perfectly. He made you perfectly. That's why I love him so much, you guys. It's because my flaws, to him, they're beautiful. The things that I look up on or other people look up on me to be flaws, to be negative, and things like that. Those things are beautiful to God. Because he made them uniquely for me. Just for me. you got to love yourself. And, and like I said, in this particular situation, to further answer another part of the question that you asked me, you never... In life, especially since you have passed the age of um, an adult, never be ashamed of who you are. You ain't got to tell the whole world your business now. That's the thing. That is where most people mess up. They want to run to everybody and ask everybody to pray for them. Ask everybody their advice on that situation. You cannot do that. You can't do that. Everybody in the world, you don't you don't want everybody to pray for you because you don't know what they're praying for. You hear me? Did you hear what I said? You don't know what they're praying for. So, sometimes it's better to keep your mouth shut and meditate between you and God than it is to be run out there looking for some help from other people. For real. Always consult God first. Because, remember, once you let it out of your mouth and it's out there in the world, that's for anybody else to interpret, feel about, react, how it is they want to. Now, let me finish this thing up. Let me finish this thing up for you. The next thing is, you cannot allow other people to dictate whom you are how you act, what actions you take, your own thought process. You can't let other people dictate that. You have to dictate that for yourself. You hear me? You can call me anything in the world that you want to. You got me ugly. You got me whatever it is that you want to. I told y'all before my grandfather taught me a long time ago. It ain't what people call you that defines who you are. It's what you answer to that defines the character of the person that, you, that that is in the inside of you. That's what defines who you are, what you answer to. You can't stop other people from calling you and saying whatever they want to say about you. But what you can do is you don't have to answer to that. 
you do not have to carry out the actions that it takes to be what they're saying that you are. You don't. I am a firm believer. Excuse me, y'all. That. Oh, man. I got hiccups. Mm. Excuse me. I'm a firm believer, you guys, that you don't have to answer to any. Once you're of a right old age to be grown, okay? You don't have to answer to anyone on this earth. No one on this earth has the key to heaven or hell. Remember, there's just consequences to whatever it is that you do. But you don't have to answer to, be ashamed of, or cower down for who God made you for other people. That's what you're going to do to make them comfortable and make yourself feel miserable? I cannot do it. Nope. Never. Never would I do that. You know, never would I do that. I'm going to be me because that's who God made me. With that being said, I hope I helped you out some. I really, really do. Y'all, this was fabulous. It was really, really good. And I hope you guys have enjoyed. I truly, truly do. Y'all, I'm so sorry. Uh, I got a little deep there in my conversation there because I had a lot of things going on. And like I tell you all the time, I really don't know if I be done got a lot right or not. Uh, but to the person that sent me the email, I hope I've helped you some. Please believe and know. Be whom you are. Let others draw to you. Don't change yourself to go and be somebody else. I told you, you I told you all several videos back. If you run with the crowd, if you side with the crowd, you become a, a part of the crowd. You limit yourself to only be as good as the crowd. But if you step out there on your own, there's unlimited potential. Y'all finna go. I'm finna go, I'm finna go, I'm finna go. So I'm my new legion. I thank you guys so, so much for being here. I love each and every one of you guys. You guys are totally special to me and my legion. We want to tell you guys thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the legion. We love you all. Because you could have chosen to be anywhere else in the world. But you chose to be here with us and we love you for it. Mm -hmm. To all my existing legion. Ooh, ooh. To all my existing legion. <coughs> I love you guys so, so much, and I'm going to see you guys next time. I truly, truly do love you guys. I really, really do. You guys, it's becoming Thanksgiving time, and we're trying to find out who our next president going to be. I love you guys so, so much, and I'm going to see y'all next time. Don't forget to keep yourself safe. From Carl Unihorn to my Miss Rona, she ain't going nowhere. She ain't going nowhere, y'all. I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget, if you want your lips hot sauce, your lips merch, so go ahead and the top description box in blue. It's right there for you. Hit that link and browse around for a little bit. Get you some. I love you guys, and I'm finna go. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. Always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not going to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye, bye. We finish. <laughs> Legion, let me tell you guys something. You are incredibly perfect, just like you are. Just like you are. I go over this time and time and time and time and time again. Because I want you to know, loving yourself, other than God and another love on this earth, but as good as that. Finding whom you are. All, because we all have dark, we all have dark parts in us. There's a dark side to everybody living. There's some things about you, like I told you about me, that will never pass my lips again. I'll take them to the grave. We've all done stupid things. We've all done things that that would humiliate us to do again today. I know I have. But the key to it is that, y'all, I love who I was 10 years ago. That passed me, I like that person because that person was striving to be better. That person was learning. That person was absorbing knowledge. That person was praying. That person was in the prayer closet crying. I love that person because that person worked hard to make me whom I am today. I love this guy right now. I love him. I do. Because he's not whom he was back then. He's not him. He's a better version of him. Because I've gained that knowledge. I've figured out more so that I love me. Everything about me. I learned more so that God loves me. 
everything about me. And that my flowers are beautiful to him because he made them that way. Very special just for me. I love me. And guess what? I love the person I'm going to be 10 years from now because I know how hard I'm working on me now. I know how I'm praying. I know how I'm asking God for understanding. I know how I'm asking God to be a better parent, to understand how to parent in this day and time with everything that's going on. So I love that guy over there. I'm going to be in 10 years because I know he's going to be a better version of me today. But now the key is, you guys, where most people get upset, where most people get upset and will turn away from you or shun you or talk about you or spread lies on you, is when they figure out that I love all three of them equally. I love all three of them because all three of them were traveling the roads or are traveling the roads or will be traveling the roads that God intricately made just for me. Just for me. My road. My heels. My hollows. To hopefully one day go home with him. I love you guys so, so much. I really, really do. I'm going to see you guys next time. And I hope that my words have helped the person that it was supposed to help. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.